If you guys have been following this channel for a little bit, you know how big of a fan I am of the Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel series, a bigger part of the Legend of Heroes overarching narrative. It's a four-part franchise that originally kicked off on the PlayStation Vita. It also released on the PlayStation 3, made an impact on PC where the first two games are released. And I've been very excited and I've been hammering home the fact that the Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 1 is arriving to the PlayStation 4. That's coming this Tuesday on January 22nd by the time you're watching this video. Maybe it's already out. And of course, The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 2 will also be making its way over to the PlayStation 4 later on in the spring. The first two games of this four-part series encompasses kind of like the first half of the story. I know that's obvious to say because, hey, it's two games, but they kind of tell their own story and then it kicks off and continues with Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4. At this point, us over here in the West, if you wanted to play an English version of the games, we've had to play Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2, and Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4 have yet to be released over here. I can kind of understand why these games have so much text, and actually translating the game is very, very difficult. Trails of Cold Steel 3 released back in 2017 in Japan, and then Trails of Cold Steel 4 followed up a year later in 2018. Those games are still being translated, however, it has recently been confirmed that The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3 will be coming to the stage this fall. However, the interesting tidbit that is concerning a lot of gamers is the fact that the series is moving away from its original publisher in Exceed Games, and Trails of Cold Steel 3 will be published by 1NIS America, which has infuriated a lot of gamers, and there's a lot of reasons why. Now let's talk about all of the good that XC did with this series. Now, The Legend of Heroes is just generally a very narrative-driven franchise. Even compared to a game like The Witcher 3, I would say The Legend of Heroes is even more narrative-driven. And comparatively speaking to your typical JRPG, yes, there is a lot of text in The Legend of Heroes, a lot of dialogue, but that's really what makes the games what they are. The storytelling and the narrative in this game is so strong, and compared to all of the other Japanese RPGs, or just RPGs, or just games, I don't really want to put a cat category of what this game is strong at because it's really just as a video game it has one of the best stories that you're going to come across and that's obviously for a ton of different reasons there is so much dialogue but also this is a four-part franchise where each of the games are 60 hours a pop so they have time to flesh out all of the story elements all of the characters but just with time doesn't mean that you're going to do it well let me tell you with trails of cold steel they flesh out the story the characters so well at a level that very very few games reach and taking a game like that translating it in the english language Language and bring it stateside that's something very difficult to do but let me say playing through games one and two on pc Exceed Games did a marvelous job with the translation. Even the voice acting in the game is really good with a lot of games that come over here. The English voice acting leaves a lot to be desired, and I can understand why a lot of you guys would still prefer the Japanese voice acting with a game like Trails of Cold Steel, but playing through the games with the English voice acting, I didn't feel like it was out of place at all. And all of the translation elements made sense to me going into the game for the first time. I didn't look into the exact translations, but just as a gamer going into a game, I didn't notice anything that was a jarring omission or anything like that. So taking these dialogue heavy games and bringing them stateside is very hard to do, but XC did a marvelous job with them. So why are they being removed from their position? That's a question that remains to be answered. It's probably some sort of business related decision. Maybe they're busy with a lot of other projects. Maybe NIS just outbid them. That's probably the case. But just on the basis that the game is leaving from being published by XC already causes a lot of worry. Then you add to the fact that the game is now being published by NIS and let's look at their track record recently because it isn't that clean. When it comes to bringing Japanese RPGs over here to the west, I commend NIS for actually bringing a lot of games over. However, their actual translation work leaves a lot to be desired. Yeez was a franchise that was often published by Exceed. They published a lot of the other Yeez titles, but Yeez 8, however, was published by NIS America, and that game was just a complete train wreck from a translation standpoint. Now, I will give NIS credit. They did update the game and fixed up a lot of the elements, but initially, that game was really bad. Also, you have to consider the fact that NIS took the helm of bringing Yeez 8 to the PC. That was one of the agreements they worked out. To bring that game over to the States, they were also going to bring with it a PC version. They also released it on the Nintendo Switch along with the PS4 and PS Vita versions. Now, the Switch version turned out pretty well. The PC version, not so well. The PC version was actually originally set to be released on the same date as the PlayStation 4 version. It got indefinitely delayed and then we didn't hear about it for a while and then it finally got released with not much fanfare, kind of a hidden release. 
And with the hidden PC releases, you always have to be a little bit skeptical because why is it hidden? Well, it turns out Yeez 8 was an absolute train wreck of a PC port. We're talking crashing, we're talking graphical glitches. The game was just an absolute nightmare and Xseed actually brought over a lot of the Yeez games onto PC and they've been tremendous on PC. You look at games like Yeez 7, Yeez Memories of Salsetta, those games released on PC and they worked rather well. Maybe not absolutely perfect in terms of PC porting, but definitely worth the money. With Yeez 8, it was a full $60 release and it was a train wreck of a release on PC. You couple that with the fact that the translations haven't been that good, obviously there's reason to worry and we're comparing The Legend of Heroes to a game like Yeez. Yeez has a story, it has a narrative, but it is nowhere near the complexity of The Legend of Heroes. We're talking it might be 20-30% of what The Legend of Heroes is. That's not a slight at Yeez at all, but let's be real. Yeez isn't really a story-driven game. If you played The Legend of Heroes and you played Yeez, you know what game has the stronger story and given the fact that NIS did such a bad job with Yeez 8, The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3 being published by NIS America, that obviously is going to be a major concern and from what I've heard, I haven't played Cold Steel 3 myself. But the rumblings is that Cold Steel 3 is a lot more dialogue heavy than 1 and 2. I don't know that for a fact, but 1 and 2 were already super, super dialogue heavy. So even if it's on par with those games, this is going to be a massive, massive undertaking for NIS America. And I can understand why gamers are concerned about that. Now, there were some rumblings about NIS getting some veterans of the series to help with the localization. So I have hopes that it'll turn out good from that end. And I'm sure that the fact that Yeez 8 was a little bit of a train wreck in terms of the translation and the horrible PC port, I'm sure Falcom took notice of that. And I'm sure they'll be up NIS's you know what for a little bit with the translation of Trails of Cold Steel 3 because you don't want that to be a train wreck either. The worst part about all of this, I think, is that Trails of Cold Steel has become a very popular franchise on PC. Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2, both of those games have been received very well by PC gamers. They seem to have done very well from a sales standpoint. And both those games currently are sitting at overwhelmingly positive reception on Steam. Unfortunately, I think NIS understood that there's no reason to bring out a PC version right away because of what they did with Yeez 8, so right now, The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3 is listed as a PlayStation 4 exclusive. Now, this is a PlayStation 4-centric channel, and a lot of you guys will be very happy about that. You can tell that the PS4 has yet another exclusive, and yet another exclusive that's probably gonna turn out to be very good. Translation worries aside from a gameplay and soundtrack standpoint, The Legend of Heroes games are fantastic, and we know that element is gonna be on point. So chances are the game's gonna be really good, and as a PS4 gamer, if it's another exclusive to add to your library, hey, that's pretty cool, but to give PC gamers that slight to give the PC gamers that supported the Legend of Heroes for so long that is so disappointing and you'd have to think that's inherently because NIS is taking the helm of the franchise. I'm sure at some point at least I hope that Trails of Cold Steel 3 will arrive on PC. If it doesn't and NIS just gives up on that, that would be so disappointing because PC gamers have supported this franchise for so long. Going back to the Trails in the Sky series, all of those games are out on PC. They've been received rather well. Trails of Cold Steel, by the looks of it, has been received even better than Trails of Sky and generally when you look at some of the better selling games during a Steam sale and whatnot, The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel is higher up on the list. Of course, it's not the highest compared to some of the bigger Western games, but it seems to be doing pretty well for itself. So in this case, the fact that the game is looking to be a PS4 exclusive or at least a timed exclusive for now, but in the same token, Trails of Cold Steel was originally released on PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita, and then it came to PC down the line. But I feel like the infrastructure and the fan base has already built on PC that I would have liked to see a day and day release with the console version. But alas, it looks like at this point, we won't be seeing that as all of the trailers have listed the game as a PlayStation 4 exclusive. Nonetheless, even with that, I am still trying to be cautiously optimistic with Trails of Cold Steel 3. For now, if you've never played the franchise, Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2 are coming to the West. Trails of Cold Steel, again, will be dropping January 22nd. Trails of Cold Steel 2 will be following up on that. Those games will be fantastic. We already know that they're out on other platforms. And let me get you up to speed a little bit and give you some words of advice before you get into those games. Trails of Cold Steel 1 might put you off a little bit at first. The game's story is a little bit slow because it really tries to introduce you to all of the characters, give them some character development, build up the character relations, and the story doesn't really get going until probably the halfway point, but then it really picks up and towards the end of Trails of Cold Steel, you will be absolutely hooked. And the first game, without giving away any spoilers, has one of the best cliffhangers and plot twists that I've ever seen in a video game or any JRPG. It is just done so well, and if you read between the lines, you can kind of see it coming, but actually seeing it happen, it was pretty insane, and it sets up Trails of Cold Steel 2 with a dynamic shift and that was really well done so I don't want to get into any spoilers if you guys played the game you know what I'm talking about 
but I'll end it there. So for PS4 only gamers, you are getting three Trails of Cold Steel games this year alone, so that's something to be excited about. I implore that we be cautiously optimistic when it comes to Trails of Cold Steel 3. I hope for the best, and I do hope at some point they do bring the game over to PC because they deserve the game for how much they've supported it. Let us know your thoughts. I know a lot of you guys may have not played the Trails of Cold Steel series. I know a lot of you guys are excited for the upcoming PlayStation 4 release. Let me just tell you, if you're a fan of Japanese RPGs, you're gonna enjoy your time with it. That's gonna conclude this video. Make sure to sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.